big dog carrying whiskey is welcome to rescue me any day. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy and today I'll be reviewing the St. Bernard. Okay, so I really love this breed a lot. Very cool background. They were bred up in the Alps and they were used primarily as a rescue dog up in the mountains. How cool is that? You know those famous paintings of them with a barrel of whiskey around their necks? I mean, a dog with whiskey around his neck can come rescue me any day. But as you can see, a very large dog. They get well over 100 pounds, you guys. So that's something you really want to take into consideration. It's very beautiful. You can see beautiful coat that does shed a lot. Thick, thick double coat on these guys to protect them from the elements. So a, a dog that does really well in cold weather. Not so great in the hot weather. Okay, so let's get into the review. All right, let's start off with health. Now, there are a bunch of health issues, mainly hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, bone cancer, unfortunately, is very common in this breed. Also, they have an issue with the eyelids, which I will not try to pronounce. As you can see, I don't do well with pronunciation. Anyways, it's where the eyelid either folds in or out. And with working with St. Bernard's, I've seen that quite a bit. I've seen that a lot with these guys. Another issue with these guys for health is that they're a rapidly growing breed. So when they're puppies and they're younger and they're growing up, you really want to make sure that you're sticking to your veterinary instructions as well as your breeders. That goes for their nutrition, their food, and also their exercise. If you over exercise a dog like this when they're growing, you will have major problems down the road. Okay, that goes for a lot of big dogs. Most big giant breeds grow very fast. These guys are no exception. So when they're growing super fast, you really have to pay attention to the nutrition and their exercise. It's really difficult for people when they have these guys as puppies because they have puppy energy, okay? They're the size of a, of a golden retriever when they're about six months old, even younger, okay? And they have the energy of one. It's a tough balance getting them the exercise that they need and, but also being careful not to do damage to their, to their bones as they're growing. It takes a lot of patience. It's a really hard thing to deal with. Something that people have to really, really think about when, when they're getting this dog. Do you have the time and the patience and the ability to stick to a regimented food and exercise plan for these guys? They have a decent lifespan, eight to 10 years, not bad for a big dog, still not a long time. I mean, I'd like to see my dogs live 15, 16, 100 years old would be nice, but you know, that's just not the case. Health-wise for these guys, out of one to five, I'm gonna give these guys a score of three. All right, moving on to activity. So these guys don't need a ton of exercise, but again, like I said before, when they're younger, you have to be very, very careful with giving them too much exercise. And that's something you're gonna have to go over with your vet and your breeder. These guys, like I said, they were bred to work in the mountains. However, let's be honest, they're not doing that nowadays. I don't want Hans and Franz to get upset right now. I know you guys might be still using them up in the mountains, but realistically, 99.9% .9 of St. Bernard's are not being used up in the mountains as rescue dogs anymore. They're more as pets and as show dogs. So their body types and abilities have definitely changed throughout the show rings as many other breeds have. Just because it's a, a dog that was originally bred to work in the mountains doesn't necessarily mean that they're still capable of doing that now. When they're adults full grown, you wanna be very careful with them in the heat. They don't do well in the heat. You wanna be very careful with them in any, with any high impact exercise. So if you're a runner, mountain biker, somebody who is a very, very active person and likes to have their dogs with them during those activities, not a great dog for you. They are a great dog for somebody who does like to take good long leisurely walks, Nothing too high impact basically for these guys. You wanna keep it low and slow with them. They're big, they have giant bodies. You wanna protect those elbows, hips, and knees. Low impact exercise regimen, but make sure it's consistent. They need consistent exercise. If not, you're gonna have more problems. So for activity for these guys, I'm gonna give them a score of three. Again, they don't need a ton of it, but they do need consistent exercise. Okay, moving on to temperament. Very, very sweet, loving, loyal dogs. I love, like I said, I, I love these big guys. They're gentle giants. Not always. No. Now, just because they have a reputation for being a friendly dog doesn't mean that they can't exhibit signs of aggression at times. So when you get one of these dogs, you, or any large breed, you want to make sure that you take responsibility for maintaining control of these guys. They do really well with other dogs. They do really well with children. I would say the only danger, usually with kids and St. Bernard's, is just their size. I say that a lot about the big guys. They can knock them down very easily. So I would definitely say the St. Bernard is a good dog to have if you have kids. They can be a little aloof with strangers. <clears throat> can be a little aloof with strangers. They can be a little wary of people they don't know coming by the house. They can, they will sometimes tend to bark. But generally speaking, once they you let them in the person in the house, you're not going to have too much of an issue with these guys. They generally do really, really well with others. So for temperament for these guys, I'm going to give them a score of a four. Four out of five. Five being the best, one being the worst. Four out of five. 
Okay, trainability. Now, some people say that they can be stubborn. I find these guys actually very easy to train. There's not a whole lot you would need these guys to learn other than sit, stay, come, sleep. But uh, these guys do do a great job on leash. They are easy to leash train, easy to house train. I have never had an issue when, when it comes to training with St. Bernard's. I find them to be ve pick things up very quick. And they again, they don't need a ton of different things to do. Um, and again, off leash are a dog that I've always had very good luck with getting them off leash really quick. Them and the Newfoundlands are the best for me as far as the big dogs. Those two do absolutely the best. Sorry, you guys, I just want to let you know. Um, this shirt is, it's wet. My wife forgot to put it in the dryer. Um, I don't know if she's gonna see this later. I'm pretty, I didn't have time to talk to her today about it, but um, I'm sorry, you guys, for one minute. Uh, hey, sweetheart, you didn't put this in the dryer and it's wet, it's not a big deal. Um, all right, guys, sorry. Sorry I didn't hear that. All right, getting back to the review. Trainability for these guys, again, smart dog. Can be stubborn at times, but they're not impossible. It's, it's pretty easy to train these guys, again, for the simple stuff. Trainability for these guys, I'm gonna give them a four. All right, you guys, that's the St. Bernard. Now, again, let's recap, all right? Pros for these dogs, sweet, loving, loyal, great family dog, good to have around other dogs, other people. They can be a deterrent. Just their size alone can just deter somebody from wanting to break into your house. They see a dog like that. They're like, no, we'll go down to Muffin's house down the street where they have two cats. Who oh, doesn't have two cats, all right? I mean, pretty easy to train, strikingly pretty dogs. I mean, just a gorgeous, gorgeous dog. If you like strangers to come up to you while you're walking your dogs, this is a great dog for you. Cons for these guys, I'd say mainly is going to be their health issues. Uh, also, for some people, it's the size of them. For some, that's a pro. For some people, that's a con. It's very difficult to move these guys around. And for some people, a con might be their activity level isn't high enough for them. And for some people, that's a pro. So that's it. That's the St. Bernard. For me, my opinion, if you're in the market for a big, beautiful family companion, St. Bernard, absolutely a good fit. Thanks again so much for watching, you guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing the videos. If you could, keep sharing them away. We're almost to our goal of 1,000 subscribers, you guys. And I have about another four months to get there. So we're about 230 left to get there, which is, which is amazing. So we're almost there. If you could, keep sharing it with your friends. I really would appreciate it. Again, all your support means the world to me. And can't thank you enough. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.